Hey guys, this is Merv, Bonsai with Merv. Good to be with you again. What I have with me is, if you remember, a couple of months ago we did a rock planting. And what I did is I put small maples onto this rock planting. Okay? Now, what, the reason why I really brought this up is because one of the questions and a picture that I'd seen was on, on, on small growth plants that are not developing yet. And as you can see here are a whole bunch of maples that uh, eventually will, we can create some interest in bonsai. Mame, eight inches or go up to the bunjing. Okay, and it's not only the maple, but uh, here are a couple of Fukian teas, uh, Carmona, or you know, that, um, or Homescoldia, which it is called now. Um, they, they've changed uh, the name from Carmona to Homescoldia, but of course, some of you must probably still know it as Carmona. But uh, here are plants that are developing into what I feel will be great mames and or bunjing, depending on how large I want it to go. Now, here is a maple. This is a red rum maple, Acer rub rum. And as you can see, I put a wire on it to start shaping it a little bit now because this baby is two years old and I put it into a one gallon container because I wanted to start growing and start pushing but as you can see I'm also giving it a little bit of a shape whilst it's developing and uh, in fact this this wire I'm just getting a look-see on it uh, it looks like uh, it could be uh, stretching it, starting to cut into it. Let me take it off. It's been on for a little while. Yep, as you can see, take one off and uh, man, look at the shape already. It's already starting to shape up, okay? And in order to create these branching a little bit more, you see how the, the top is getting longer? I had already tipped off that section so it's starting a branch there and it will start branching down here too and that's what you want to do create branches now back to the um the uh, rock planting all right these three plants are taken off beautifully somehow this one got broken that something hit it somewhere or whatever it is maybe my puppy dogs got nervous and jerky around it and uh, it was in the way so what I'd like to do is get a little bit of detail on it you see what it looks like now well Let's, let's, let's get some wire, let's put some wire, let's trim it and uh, start detailing our trees in, um, so that we, we know what we're doing. Now this is a number one branch, I'm going to leave maybe uh, six, three opportunities there for, uh, for branching and uh, this side here, two opportunities for branching and we're coming up this way and you see this long stem here well that is part of the thickening, thickening process but we do want it to start branching so I'm going to eliminate it up there too all right and uh, what I will would like to do also is just move these branches into a training position so that we can we can start getting a better shape on on our trees as they are as they starting to branch get the get branch ramification and we can develop a shape a better shape on it too so that it starts looking like a tree all right so as you can see just with one piece of branch hitting two one piece of wire hitting two branches and look what it's doing to that tree already right shaping that nicely here with this one here we're developing ramification this is getting a little bit long so let's take that off I like the shape there uh, difference in height 
I'd like to eliminate that right there and let that start developing. Now this is our main tree. This branch here that's coming off is uh, giving us a little bit more of a movement. So we don't need that and let's take it off right up here. Different height, another branch, more branches. Uh, this can be moved a little bit more in that direction so that we can see the trees, okay? And in order to do that, all I'm going to do is just move the base a little bit. It's not rooted 100%, but you see how we've just opened it up a little bit, right? So that they don't hide each other. And as you can see, they're starting to develop. Uh, this, this, this one will, will develop nicely. Here we have uh, a branch going nicely and tip that one off and we get a little bit more branch ramification in there. Okay? So, the thing is, don't be afraid to cut. Okay? In fact, when, when we're looking at small plants like this, uh, I get, I get uh, carried away at times and uh, you see what they're doing? Well, I'm going to leave Two, two leaves on that, take it off. Gonna take, leave two leaves on there, take it off. Gonna leave two leaves on there, take it off. Okay, see, what, what I'm doing is I'm stopping the upward growth and I'm, I'm forcing it to branch out, to give me two branches. And this way, what I'm doing is I'm forcing an apex and a number one branch. And as that develops, we'll create uh, another branch and a new apex and just let it keep on going. Don't be afraid to cut. It will keep on growing. Okay? So, uh, it, yeah, I, I felt it was necessary because the picture that I saw of the, uh, the plant that uh, this one person sent and wanted to know uh, how to develop this white pine, he had it in a small little plastic thing uh, not allowing it to really grow properly and the suggestion was put it into a one gallon container tip the top of it off and let it grow and let's see what it does in one year because we do want it to start throwing branches so that we can start working with the branching too okay so don't forget you can ask us questions and we'll definitely try to answer them so if you have any other questions, do not hesitate. Then we'll see what we can do and we'll work at it as hard as we can. Look after yourself. God bless you. Have a great day. And thanks for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe Facebook, YouTube, and let us know where we're at and where you're at. Do take care. Bye now.